Hello everybody, today I am going to show you how to install GSI ROM on Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 version 2021. This phone unfortunately do not support flashing recovery tools image, as for example TVRP or CVM, but support Project Rebo and has Android 11. That also means we can use dynamic system update to install GeneX system image. Please keep in mind that this guide is not going to be about installing custom ROM, which is not the same thing. In this guide we are going to install GSI, which is also really cool and can provide something similar like we know from computer world and that is dual boot. And if you are here for World of Tanks, stay tuned, I am going to install and test World of Tanks game once project is finished. Before you start doing anything with your phone, make sure you back up everything which you need to prevent that loss. We can start with unlocking developer tools in your settings. To do that, tap on your settings, then about phone, then hit the MIUI version several times until you see message you are now developer. Developer options are now unlocked and you will find it into the additional settings. Here I am tapping on Donlock screen so phone is not constantly switching off while I am working with it. But most important thing here is to enable USB debugging. In next step scroll to MI unlock status. This is status of your bootloader, which is currently required to be unlocked if you want to use GSI. Carefully read what it says and follow the instructions described here. You are going to need MI account and you need to add your device to this account. Here's the example how it should look like. Ok, let's prepare everything which we are going to work with in advance. If I'm going to be too fast, don't worry, I will put all links into the description. So you can start with downloading ME Unlock. You are also going to need ADB drivers for communication between PC and the phone. Also download SDK platform tools, which are going to help us execute commands from PC on your phone. Once basic things are downloaded, extract them into the folder. Install ADB drivers. Once ADB drivers are installed, we can plug in the phone with the USB cable.
you can pick up file transfer as communication method and we are going to verify with the SDK platform tools if phone is recognized and if communication is working. Open the command line window within platform tools folder. Type in command adb devices so you can find out if platform tools have a reach to your phone. If something like this happened and you cannot see any devices listed, that means you have to check ADB drivers. They are not probably installed correctly. With the right button on your mouse, click on the computer and select properties. Open device manager. If you are going to find out ADB interface with the exclamation mark in your device manager, that means that driver installation failed and you are going to need replace driver with something else which is working. For me this specific driver worked and I am going to paste link into the description. It may save you few hours of searching on the internet. Just follow the video guide and proceed with the manual replacement of the driver. Once driver is correctly installed, you should immediately see pop-up on your phone. Your phone is exchanging RSA case with your computer for encrypted communication. Just press OK and everything should be working now. We are going to verify that with the SDK platform tools. Open the command line window within the folder and type in the command ADB devices again. As you can see, the device is now listed and we are ready to proceed forward. Don't close the windows, just minimize them. Navigate to folder MiPlash and open the application. Proceed with the sign it up to your Mi account. Now open the command line again, write in the command adb reboot bootloader. As you can see your phone should be responding to this command and start rebooting into the fast boot mode. Also Mi Flash tool now should be able to detect device. Feel free to help yourself with the refresh button. Then click unlock. After pressing unlock you will find out your waiting time. Mine was 7 days. Yours can be different. I am going to stretch out the window so you can see what is right there. In my case already few days have passed. Unfortunately you cannot do anything with the waiting time. Just wait the period that is set for you and then you can proceed forward. After waiting time, process will remain the same. Open command line window within the folder of the SDK platform tools. Write in the command ADB devices. I am now preparing me flash tool. 
Shortly after typing in command adb reboot bootloader, my device should be recognized by me application. Now, after pressing unlock, your device should appear unlocked as you see on the screen. In developer options, check your ME unlock status. It should look like as you see on the screen. Open the browser and download application BSU Sideloader. I'm also going to paste a link with the application pack into the description. You are going to find there every application which is used in this video. Just unpack it and place folder into your SD card. If you decide to download application manually, you can follow the video guide. Just to ensure that you are going to have access to your SD card, check on your phone if file transfer is enabled. Now, pick up the phone, locate the DSU sideloader application on your SD card and install it. You can use any available file manager on your phone. In my case, I placed it into the folder 1apk.